HCB is known for being one of the world's largest center consoles, combined with its ability to fish and be enjoyed as a family cruiser. With 1,000 gallons of fuel and 200 gallons of water, giving her plenty of range when desired. Before I show you around the boat, I want to point out a few features that make this one of the most capable center consoles ever built. She offers two 30-gallon live wells located in the transom, storage under the bench seat, and port and starboard fish boxes. Additional cold storage is found forward in the form of a freezer and refrigerator located under the forward lounge pad. Another great feature of this boat is the port and starboard dive doors. The final thing I want to point out before today's walkthrough is the upgraded Sea Keeper number six, which is an upgrade over the Sea Keeper number five found on earlier models. When activated, rough days at sea are a breeze. We're gonna to get today's walkthrough started at our stern. Here you'll find quad Yamaha 425s. These four engines give her a comfortable cruising speed of 33 to 34 knots and a top speed of 52 knots. Just forward of her quad Yamahas is the cockpit. This is when you realize that this is not your everyday center console and a fantastic area to enjoy with you and your guests. Center of the two bait wells is a wide functional bench seat with drop down armrests equipped with beverage holders for the ice cold margaritas made from the blender station located at the summer galley which I'll go over shortly. One of my favorite features is the port and starboard dive doors that make it a breeze entering from a day at the sandbar, pulling in the catch of the day, or from diving a reef in the Bahamas. To kick off the entertainment, there is a summer galley equipped with twin sinks, a Kenyan electric grill, removable cutting boards, a blender station, and plenty of storage for tackle, bait, and drinks. You'll notice two fridges, four drawers for tackle, and just overhead you'll find a Garmin 8616 GPS that ties into the multifunction display at the helm. To either side, you'll find two JL audio speakers. In total, 22 speakers are found throughout the boat, making this boat the life of the party at the sandbar. Just above, you'll find eight fishing rod holders integrated into the hardtop. Up here, you'll also find your Garmin Open Array radar, KVH dome, as well as your outriggers. Underside, the midnight black color almost eliminates the glare when underway on those early morning fishing trips or on a relaxing evening cruise. This brings us to the helm station, which accommodates you and your guests with two rows of seating, each with the ability to comfortably sit three. Now let's take a look at the features on the helm. The first thing you'll notice is three multifunction Garmin displays. The middle display is a Garmin 8622, which is flanked by two Garmin 8616s. I'm a little old school, so I love having push button switches conveniently located port and starboard so I can leave my Garmin displays on important information. Found just the port of the Edson High Gloss Teak steering wheel, you'll find the ACR search light controls. To starboard of the wheel, you'll find your side power bow thruster controls, throttles, and the Yamaha joystick to dock with ease. As we leave the helm, you'll see just above the deck, two frigid rigid cold boxes found on both sides for even more cold storage. Moving forward on the starboard side, you'll see access to the cabin through a watertight door and hatch. Once inside, you'll be impressed with the amount of headroom and space this cabin has to offer on a boat of this size. Just forward, a V-berth, which can be converted into a standalone table, to port, a kitchenette with sink, fridge, microwave, and additional storage. Immediately aft, you'll find the head and shower. To finish up today's walkthrough, we'll head to the bow. Here, underway, or on the hook with your Maxwell windlass and max set anchor, you, your family and friends can enjoy the sun and ocean breeze from the centerline sun pad found just forward of the helm. Lifting up the seat, an additional freezer or refrigerator is ready for refreshments. Forward, there are two more bench seats to port and start. This area converts to an alfresco dinette with an electronically actuated table that lifts up from the floor, which is a perfect spot to enjoy cocktails and drinks.